Yo, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Today, we are going to answer the question, will, will there be mounts in New World? So, there was an article posted a couple months ago whenever the Reek Water event was happening. And this article can be found on wccftech.com. And I'll make sure I link this article in the, in the description below. Good grief, I can't talk, Red. So in this article, there is a direct question to Scott Lane about adding mounts to the game. So we're gonna go over that question a lot more in this video. We wanted to bring this up right now because mounts are always a hot topic in the game. And it's something that we haven't discussed here uh, in video form for you guys. So we wanted to do that now. So first I'm going to talk, uh, or, or first I'm going to go through the question that was asked about adding some, some, uh, some donkeys potentially to the game. So let me read this real fast and we'll talk about this first and then we'll move on to, uh, to the other topic here. So what, so they specifically asked, what about adding donkeys that carry stuff to the settlements instead of adding mounts. So Scott Lane then replies and he says, we've kicked around the idea of donkeys or wagons or wheelbarrows, uh, but it's not in the immediate plans. There's a lot of fast travel in the game. You can set a recall point uh, to a settlement. Once you visit a settlement, you can fast travel to it from other settlements. We're already helping players get around the map pretty quickly, but while I was exploring ways to better to do better at that. So Red and I just recorded a video that went live yesterday about fast travel, so make sure you go check that out. But Red, what do you think about the potential of adding uh, donkeys. It doesn't sound like based on this comment that they have any plans at all to add something like donkeys that carry stuff around the settlements versus adding mounts. But what are your thoughts on that uh, about adding something that kind of carries additional weight? So if you're out farming, you can throw like maybe an ox or something that carries all your stuff back to the settlement for you. Yeah, that starts to look pretty complicated to me. I understand when, when, when Scott mentioned that, you know, where do you have fast travel we don't really want to add mounts. If they're planning on keeping fast travel, I would agree with him. We don't need a lot of different ways to get around the mount quick or a map quickly. Now, uh, on the storage front, uh, with the on the mules and stuff like that, dude, that starts to get uh, to me very complicated as well because then you're looking at a game that's all about territory control and all about you know or should be at that point worth or about some risk and reward. And currently crafters can get away with craft or like, or gatherers can get away with gathering without any risk. They don't have to yeah. flag up to go out there. So then it doesn't really make sense to give them even more benefits of not flagging, right? Maybe dude, if you have to flag up to use a donkey, now I'm all about that. If you if you want extra storage and, and to save time and, and effort into go gathering, then to take your donkey maybe put you like a, a red X on your back saying that, okay, this donkey can be looted. Anything I put on this donkey can be looted or anything in this cart or crate can be looted by other players. That becomes very interesting to me. Uh, but, but in the current state of the game, I would like not, I don't think I would want mounts if they're going to keep fast travel. And I, I don't think that the whole donkey thing works if they keep things the way it is right now with gathering. Yeah, I, I agree with some of that. My my uh, my take on that whole situation is that I wouldn't mind some sort of caravan system added to the game, some sort of some sort of uh, like pack animal system added to the game if it tied into the territory control system. So, for example, you could go out and use your donkey in your territory. If you owned your territory, maybe you could use it safe there if your faction owned that. But if your faction did not own that territory and you took a donkey out, then maybe it would be free to get attacked or something. Something along those lines, maybe just something again, yet again, to incentivize incentivize uh, a reason to own a territory. Uh, I think that's very important in this mm -hmm. game because it's all about it right now. There's not one. So I harp on that all the time. But yeah. all right. So so that was just kind of an interesting little tidbit. Now let's get into the into the meat and potatoes here, man. This I found incredibly interesting. So I'm going to read this uh, quote for you, this question real quick and then read what Scott Lane said. So it says, are mounts on the table for the future or are you strongly against that? OK, so here's what Scott Lane says. He says, I think right now our world isn't of the size that warrants mounts. When we do get there with the live game, that's gonna happen at some point. We'll add mounts when we feel players will benefit from them and we can do them in a really cool way that works for us. Dude, that right there is basically, in my opinion, a confirmation that mounts will be added to the game at some point. I mean, he, he says it right here. He says, I he says, when we do get there with the live game, that's going to happen at some point. That's what he says. We'll add mounts. We feel players will benefit from them 
and we can do them in a really cool way that works for us. So yeah. that's pretty interesting, man. I think that answers the question right there. Will New World have mounts? So I think right now, currently, it's not going to. Uh, and it probably won't even have mounts on release, I wouldn't think. But I think at some point that the game is going to have mounts, man. What do you think about that statement, dude? Uh, I mean, it's hard. If the mounts, if the map is big enough, then sure. I mean, that's, I think, the variable that he kind of threw in there that's a little sneaky yeah. because, you know, how big does the map need to get uh, for you to have mounts on it? You know, that remains yeah. to be seen. Uh, but, dude, here's the thing about mounts and here's the thing about the current state of MMOs. Mounts make money, dude. If you have appearances yep. and mounts, if you have, you know, different looking mounts and everything, then the cash shop becomes more interesting to people. They're more likely to, to spend their money there. And we all know that's just how it is now. You know what I mean? There is uh, appearance items in almost every MMO that you can purchase. And mounts uh, is a thing that makes a lot of sense. That's something that I'm even willing to pay money for sometimes is a really dope looking mount. Uh, and and yeah. uh, they're leaving that off the table if they don't add mounts. Uh, I would like to, if and again, I'm being nitpicking here, and and uh, but I would like to see them if mounts are in the plans or in the books. Again, and we talked about this in the last video. Reduce the fast travel a little bit. You know, right now I think it's too readily available. I think it's too easy to do. Uh, and now, now I guess they did make some changes with the end system, so so that has you know made it a little bit less accessible to fast travel because you do have to sign yourself to an end to fast travel back there. But, uh, you know, I would like to see it re uh, reduced a little bit more because, and, and I know, I'm sure people get uh, upset with us talking about this all the time. We're PVP players. Uh, fast travel is very bad for PVP because it, it, it yeah. takes people off the map. It takes uh, that risk and reward factor off and, and you know, I don't think the flagging system is going to change anytime soon, Birdie. Uh, so, Bordy? I just called you Birdie. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it just, it is difficult to build like a, a world that feels alive when everybody's like teleporting everywhere. So even if they do keep yeah. the flagging and the PVE players the way it is, it does reduce like the immersion of the game. Yeah, I agree, man. And I agree with his statement, too, that it says right now our world isn't the size that warrants mounts. Right. I do agree with that because I don't think that it is, especially with the way fast travel is right now. And I'm glad you said, you know, we are PvP players, and so that is my biggest concern with the addition of mounts to the game. Yeah. You add mounts in the game right now, if you're on... if. The, so if you're doing a PvP mission and you can ride a mount to go to point from point A to point B, people are just going to be jumping on mounts, riding over there, doing the mission, jumping on the mountain, riding back with really not much risk at all. So they would, if they were to add mounts right now, they would have to make it to where if you're almost if you're flagged, you can't ride a mount almost, which would which would kind of suck. Like yeah. I don't know how and they're going to like implement that. You can't that. fast travel if you're flagged. You can't yeah. mount if you're yeah. flagged. People are not going to yeah. flag. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> because exactly, PvP, which is PVP missions got right. nerfed too. So it's like, right. you know, what's the purpose yep. of flagging? Yeah. Which is exactly what I don't want to have happen, man. This game was built around PVP and territory control. And with the addition of mounts, I think it takes away from that a lot yeah. uh, in its current state. I think at some point they can implement some things, make the world bigger, do something uh, to, to, to kind of get away from that and to encourage open world PVP at the same time. But right now the game's not there. At least it wasn't in the preview event. And so I just, I right now as the game currently stands, this is a hot take right here, man. People are going to be mad at me for saying this, but right now I'm against mounts right now. I don't think they make sense. And that is coming strictly because I'm a PVP player. Now, if I was just doing PVE content, running from one area to the other or whatever, then mounts make a lot of sense because I don't want to spend the time running. But I want to have those open world PVP encounters and I don't want that to go away. And it, with the addition of mounts, I think that it, it would make those even harder to come by. And that's not the type of game I want to play. I want I want to play New World in large part because of the open world PvP. And I want that to be a pinnacle staple of the game. And uh, I hope I hope that it is. And so I don't know, man. I I I always at some point New World would have mounts. So I don't think this statement really surprised me a whole lot that he says that's gonna happen at some point. Right. We we will add mounts uh, when they feel like players are gonna benefit from them, but. It is encouraging that they they know they know right now that mounts 
I think they know. Mouse don't make a whole lot of sense uh, right. for the current iteration of the game. So at some point, we're going to get them, though, boys. We're going to get them. So all of you guys that out there that have been uh, wanting mounts for so long, I, it's going to happen. One of these days, it's going to happen. Books. It's there, dude. It's there. You have anything else to add, man? Anything else to talk about about mounts? No. I Well, to cap it off, dude, I, I really, I, like you said, I knew that they would come to the game at some point. I think it's just now that we know that they're coming and, and now that New World kind of know, you know, I already have plans for it. I think it's important to find a way to make it make sense in PvP, uh, in in the territory control. Uh, and, and maybe yeah. that's Mount Combat. That can be no, cool. No, please, God, no, no, no dude. I don't want it. What if they're the first MMO to ever do Mount Combat? Well, dude, if they can joust. Dude, Jousting I, would be dope. Yeah, but, I mean, okay, so maybe a jousting tournament or something would be cool, yeah. but open world mounted combat is not fun, Dude, man. think about it's, sieges, it's like running in on a horse to the gate. You know what I mean? Like seeing the horse blow up, uh, you know, because of some, I mean, some landmine. That would be dope looking. If they can do it correctly. Maybe. Like maybe get, in a do siege. Gandalf I can see them in riding a in to the two tower, you know, in the two tower scene where guy, they all I run mean, in yeah. and spear people. I mean, Mount mounts in a siege, maybe if there's like if you could buy them maybe from the from the siege vendor at the beginning yeah, yeah, of the yeah. siege and then and then you and they're and they're limited to like you can only buy five or something. Uh maybe something like that. But I I don't want mounted combat in the open world, man. That might yeah, be another yeah. thing I get flamed for. Some people may love it, but I think mounted combat is awful in the open world. It gets world, real I don't sketchy know how you, real quick. <laughs> it gets real <laughs> yeah. sketchy and it's not fun. I don't know how you can implement mounted cheese. combat to make it good. Yeah. You people, can't turn your horse on a dime to go back and get someone and somebody can just jet off and it's just, it's not, I have never been a fan of mounted combat. It's just not the type of combat mm -hmm. I enjoy. Uh, and even playing something like Mordow. Mordow has mounted combat. I never get on the horse, man, because it's boring. I don't like it. I don't like running around jabbing people with that thing. I wanna, I wanna stand toe to toe and fight somebody. So that's, maybe that's just what people like do. get knocked off know, easy man. or something. Maybe, or maybe, you take like a maybe. stun, a large stun for getting knocked off your horse. So then in PvP, yeah. it doesn't make sense to jump on a horse because you could throw the whole entire. Getting, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a large penalty whenever you fall on the ground. Right, you right. lay there for five seconds or something. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, it'll be interesting to see how they implement that for sure. But I hope that we don't go the mounted combat route unless it is like just strictly reserved for sieges or something. I, I really don't want that. But you know, right, who yeah. am I? You know I what I mean. Some that. people probably love it. Uh, anyway, man, is that it? You have anything else? No, sir. All right, cool, man. Well, yo, guys, thank you so much for checking it out. We appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys watching. Let us know what your thoughts are on, on mounted combat and really on mounts in general in New World. What do you think? Do you want mounts? Do you not want mounts? Do you think they'd work right now? And if so, how? Uh, let us know in the comments below, man. We'd love to hear from you guys. And then make sure you join our Discord. We can continue the conversation over there. That will be linked in the description below as well. And make sure, please, hit the subscription button, please. Hit the sub button and make sure to like and send uh, and hit the bell so you can be notified of all of the uh, new videos we have coming out Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. CST. A brand new video is the Studio Loot channel. Thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.